So I wanted to give you a couple of tips and tricks about this inexpensive monoprice mini delta printer that's going on here that is our current workhorse for small jobs. Uh, first some basics. The, uh, the plate at some point, their little pad thing, you're going to slice it and cut it when you're trying to remove things. Always happens. Uh, I have in the past tried to use stuff like build tack uh, which I've had some success with but honestly the most successful I've had is good old 3M painters tape. It's cheap, it's easy to apply and when it gets scratched up you throw it out. One helpful hint to roughen up the tape, I learned this from Evelyn, is she will take lay down the tape and then use an eraser a good quality eraser and cover the surface and then blow away the chips. It gives it a little bit of stickiness which is handy. Uh, one of the first things I think you should do with this printer is to print some new feet for it. And in this case I have printed some feet. These feet were originally designed to go in the corners but because I didn't have the right screws I just used some E6000 adhesive and glued them to the bottom plate so that worked out fine. The problem is is that the fan is on the bottom and they give you really crappy short feet which makes the printer very loud and reduces airflow. Uh, the other thing I did to improve the airflow and I can't see it inside right now is I uh, there's a 60 millimeter fan spacer that I mounted in there that takes the fan and instead of being directly touching that metal plate it lifts it off by a couple of millimeters which greatly reduces the sound. So the feet give you the airflow. Mine is kind of kooky looking because the feet aren't in the corners but there's three of them so it's stable. The uh, last thing of this first round of stuff that annoys the heck out of me is their SD card which is really 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 hard to latch so on Amazon and I, I, I got this hint from somebody on uh, Thinkiverse on some of the mods Amazon sells these micro SD card extension things um, used for the Raspberry Pi a lot, which I was not aware of, uh, but once we got it latched, that'll stay there latched permanently, and then I could mount the little reader up top, so I'll no longer have micro cards flying across the room. Uh, so, you know, for 160 bucks, I think it's quite an impressive printer. Uh, it has its limitations, it has its things they could have done better but there's a very active community who are working to make things faster and quite honestly I've got some great prints out of it this uh, this die with the loose ball in there this was printed without any internal supports so we was able to print see the uh, one side they had up and uh, it was able to print this little hollow die quite nicely this is a failed hollow die and you can see the little ball in there and it just gets broken off. Uh, I've been doing some egg shapes and uh, another crazy egg shape. This takes, uh, I think this is about an hour and a half to print. And uh, this one which came out very very nicely, another egg. So it, uh, but for small quick prints, you know, do like a keychain. That prints in about six minutes or so. I did four of these bookmarks and it took about maybe 15 minutes. A little Darth Vader took about 10 minutes. So it, it is actually quite quick. This is the benefit of the Delta design is it's able to move the print head very quickly. And I've got this selection of eggs. There we go. And little Darth Vader there. So Again, it has its problems, but for its price point, it's been really chugging. That's all for now.